So today is the auspicious day of Gaurav Purnima, 2024. So that would make it how many years? 538. Right? 538 years. Which year was Jagan Mahaprabhu born? What did he say? Which year? Fourteen eighty six eighteen. So, why did he appear? There are two reasons uh, external reason and internal reason. You know? Do you know there are two reasons? Hmm? Okay, what are the reasons? To establish devotees and destroy miscreants. He came to destroy miscreants. What? Demonic tendencies. So which is external, which is internal? Which one? Destroy miscreants. He's external. But did he destroy any miscreants? So he failed. <clears throat> so we must know all this. So the external reason is to save the conditioned souls from the material world by introduction of Harinam Sankirtan. That is the external reason. External means for others, I mean for the world, for the benefit of the world. Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradaya Te Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Vishenamaha. So that's the external mission. What is the meaning? What is the meaning? Namo Mahavadanyaya means? I cannot hear anything. Whole room should vibrate with the vibration of the world. Thank you. So, <clears throat> yeah, munificent means what? Magnificent. Magnanimous means what? Giving. Giving. Charitable. Yes. <clears throat> so what did the charity give? Krishna's name. Krishna Prema Pradayate. Krishna Prema Pradayate. So the love of Krishna, he gave Pradaya. Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Vishenamaha. Gaurat Vishay means what? Golden complexion. So, he is Krishna himself. Krishna Varnam Dvisha Krishnam. Sango Pangastra Parshadam. So, he Yajna Sankirtana Praya Yajanti Hisumetas. So, this Sankirtan Yajna he introduced to save the population. That is external reason. Internal reason is that he wanted to taste the love that Radharani has for Krishna. That is the internal reason. <clears throat> so, the first six verses, six, four, five, yeah, first six verses of the Chaitanya Charitamritam are uh, describing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Actually, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. These are the external and internal reasons. First and second is the Tattva of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Okay, we will briefly go through the first two and then go to the three and four. Adalila 1.1 1 
So you can repeat after me. Vande Gurun Isha Bhaktan Isham Isha Vatarakan Tat Prakasham Chatat Chakti Krishna Chaitanya Samyakam <clears throat> One day I offer respectful obeisances, Gurun, unto the spiritual masters, Isha Bhaktan, unto the devotees of the Supreme Lord, Isham, unto the Supreme Lord, Isha Avatar Khan, unto the incarnations of the Supreme Lord, Tat, of the Supreme Lord, Prakashan, unto the manifestations, Cha, and Tat, of the Supreme Lord, Shakti, unto the potencies, Krishna Chaitanya, Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Samyakam, name. Translation by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the spiritual masters, the devotees of the Lord, the Lord's incarnations, His plenary portions, His energies, and the primeval Lord Himself, Sri Krishna Chaitanya. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu means all this. It's like uh, king means with all his associates, the Lord means with all his associates, paraphernalia, name, form, pastimes, everything. And entourage. So everything, all this together is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now some of the things may find, you may find it repet repetitive. The Lord's incarnations, the plenary portions. So are they not the same? Well, they are not. Because this is these are very technical. You know, Chaitanya, Chaitanya Charitamrita appears like a book of uh, pastimes, you know, and relatively, one may mistake it to be relatively easier to understand than uh, a more philosophical text. But actually, as Srila Prabhupada said, Chaitanya Charitamrita is the postgraduate study of spiritual life, Bhagavad Gita is the beginning. Hmm? Bhagavatam is the graduate study, or sorry, Bhagavatam is postgraduate and Chaitanya graduate. Mm. So, <clears throat> higher than Bhagavad Gita is Bhagavatam in, in its uh, weight, I mean philosophical weight. So, as much as Bhagavatam is uh, so deep, Chaitanya Charitamrita goes very, very deep. And especially before the pastimes even begin, how many chapters is this? Um, 13 chapters, if I'm not wrong. 12 or 13 chapters, fully on the tattva of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Philosophically understanding who Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually is. Such sound, on such sound philosophical basis, the pastimes are um, explained. Because before understanding the pastimes, before just reading about the pastimes, one has to know actually who Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is. Because in Kali Yuga, it is very um, dangerous. Many people just come as avatars. Like, you know, there is one book, Sai Satcharita. How, how many of you know? Uh. <laughs> So, so-called Shirdi Sai Baba's life, this thick book, you know, some stories, you know, some miracles, whatever they're putting there. Okay. But there is no found, uh, philosophical foundation established on whether he is God or not, first of all. Simply. So, such literatures will become very prominent in Kali Yuga and to distinguish um, or rather... Um, be distinguished from all of that nonsense he established very nicely and that's how one should do it if one has to prove that if he if, if we say that he's god we have to able to we have to be able to prove it hmm. so with multiple references from the scriptures nana shastra vicharanaika nipunao sad dharma samsthapakao every day morning we chant this so what did they do? The uh, six Goswamis, Nana Shastra Vicharanaika Nipunav Sat Dharma Samsthapak. So they have studied very closely, scrutinizingly, 
so many scriptures <clears throat> all our vedic scriptures and why sad dharma samsthapako to establish the true religious principles so they glean from the entire corpus of vedic literature the essential um, religious principles that are suitable for this age <clears throat> and that was the order of chaitanya mahaprabhu to the goswamis especially rupa and sanatan and also jiva goswami all of them but um, most voluminous work was done by jiva goswami um, and it was initiated by rupa goswami and sanatan goswami <clears throat> so krishna comes i mean chaitanya mahaprabhu krishna came as chaitanya mahaprabhu he came with his sango pangastra parshadam saparshada that means all his close associates great devotees he came with them lord's incarnation so incarnation um ishan ishavatarakan ishavatarakan means the incarnation avatar means one who descends when the lord descends into this material world he is called avatar although <clears throat> he is the same as the supreme lord but he performed this function of descent into the material world um in the vaikuntha he is not known as avatar because there you cannot say avatar so he did not descend from anywhere so there it is tat prakasha prakash um what is that divisions of the expansions of the lord in the uh uh prabhava vaibhava expansions like this so these are all called prakasha so expansions <clears throat> plenary portions plenary expansion that's that very very carefully chosen phrase plenary plenary means of the same uh power there is no diminution in the power expansion means oh uh, something as it should forth from something else so it's a part no it's not a part and even kala like mahavishnu is a kala part of the part but still plenary plenary part so this is only possible with krishna om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate purnat purnamudachate and then purnameva vasishyate so from the complete whatever emanates is also complete in itself and even krishna krishna comes from krishna many many expansions balram and you know chaturvyuha and then second chaturvyuha and the unlimited narayanas in the spiritual world and the mahavishnu i mean the purushavatars mahavishnu garbhodukshay vishnu kshirodukshay vishnu just for example i mean in this verse you know this verse looks very small right you know how much it is expanded one two how many chapters on this <clears throat> let me see um let me quickly see this how many chapters ha huh? not 17 not not all are not all from this verse uh two chapters two entire chapters just to explain the this verse one verse <clears throat> like for example avatars how many types of avatars six types of avatars are there purusha avatar which is the mahavishnu garbhodakshay vishnu kshirodakshay vishnu then there is um, yuga avatar first there is guna avatar the satvagun rajagun tamagun who is that vishnu brahma and shiva guna avatar purusha avatar guna avatar leela avatar for yuga avatar and then leela avatar manmantra avatar shakti avish avatar six types of avatar issue forth so just the ishan ishavatarakan ishavatarakan you know how many types and then if you so if you calculate like that it, unlimitedly they can be expanded 
so it's very deep all these verses are very deep um, and next verse so when, when when we see chaitanya mahaprabhu it's including all this shakti also all the shaktis um, those who are shaktas they worship the material nature in the form of durga kali chandi whatever so that is just one of the multifarious energies parasya shaktir vividhaiva shruyate swabhaviki jnana bala kriya cha so um, unlimited shaktis both in the spiritual and material worlds uh, in the in the spiritual world in broad categories there are three samvit sandhini haladini but jiva goswami yeah he explains there are 16 sub categories under them and then they are expand unlimitedly they expand like that all the 16 names are also given actually uh, somewhere one of those verses so it's a uh, very i mean uh, unlimited expansions of everything <clears throat> you know some krishna is called satchidananda right sat chit ananda sat is eternity and sat is uh, made possible by the exhibition of his energy called sandhini and chit um knowledge is made possible by the exhibition of his energy known as samvit and pleasure ananda is made possible by his energy called haladini so in that way that's why his name is sachidananda uh, and whole spiritual world is sachidananda because of this not that because of the shakti is krishna is able to become sachidananda no he ex- he is sachidananda through the and he exhibits these shaktis so they are just differently classified it krishna is just you know exhibiting without any uh, um extraneous effort effortlessly he is just doing it <clears throat> so sometimes there is a you know in uh, i don't know how many of you know in our part of the india in andhra pradesh maybe other parts also but in andhra pradesh this is quite common devi bhagavatam they read and they say in that it is mentioned adi parashakti which is who is more than even brahma vishnu and shiva like that so it's not exactly a fact but you know durga is that srishti sthiti pralaya sadhana shakti reta now srishti sthiti pralaya we know to be under srishti is under brahma you know sthiti is under vishnu and pralaya under shiva but then what is this durga srishti sthiti pralaya all together so this is the exhibition of the energy she does it under the shelter of these expansions um so when the lord does something he does it through his energies like we say the rose is painted by the lord but he does not come and sit down and paint every single rose there his energies are there which are painting everything engineering everything you know the whole thing is running automatically seemingly automatically through the display of his energies <clears throat> so in this way we have to properly understand this so that is chaitanya mahaprabhu in uh, just uh, i can't even expand because his whole class will be finished i mean <laughs> two chapters so we'll just briefly go over them one day shri krishna chaitanya repeat nityananda sahoditao gaudodaye pushpavantao ಚಿತ್ರೌಷಂಧೌತಮೋನುಧಿಸ್ಟಿಪೇಟ್ನೆಸ್ಟಿಪೇಟ್ಸ್ಟಿಪೇಟ್ಸ್ಟಿಪ
there were two tall trees somewhere in the west i don't know where so two tall trees and between those two trees were the sun and moon and it happens only i don't know one in oh reebu it happens once in many many years i don't know how many years i forgot even the number was it 16 or 1600 i don't know i don't remember so anyway that photo was there sun and moon between those trees like that so i uh, it reminded me of this verse so so they have both come to bestow their benediction so a few verses are dedicated i think in the first chapter itself to explain this 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 verse uh second chapter is it yeah i think end of second chapter now here third chapter is the the position of chaitanya mahaprabhu and fourth verse is the external reason fifth verse is the internal fifth and sixth verses are the internal reasons of chaitanya mahaprabhu appearance <clears throat> so this is 17 syllables you can sing in a few tunes one is the jagannath ashtakam one is the nityanand ashtakam these two tunes you can sing i don't know if you want to follow <clears throat> it's a little long so try let's try yad advaitam brahmo panishati dadapyasya tanubha so this actually this tune will be difficult for you so let's try the jagannath ashtakam yad advaitam brahmo panishati dadapyasya tanubha yad advaitam brahmo panishati dadapyasya ಷಡೈಶ್ವರ್ಯೂರ್ಣೋಯಗವಾಂಸ್ವಯಮ ಚೈತನ್ಯಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜಗತಿ ಪರ ತರಮಿಹ ನ ಚೈತನ್ಯಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜಗತಿ ಪರ ತರಮಿಹ you know you know that verse 1 to 11 right let's look at that verse before we come to this so that we understand the context there is an order in which this verse was composed so vadanti tat tatvavidas tattvam yajnanam advayam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavan iti shabdyate learned transcendentalists who know the absolute truth call this non dual substance brahman paramatma or bhagavan according to the realization the same absolute truth is known as brahman paramatma so let's go back what the upanishads describe as the impersonal brahman is but the effulgence of his body and the lord known as the super soul is but his localized the plenary portion lord chaitanya is the supreme personality of god head krishna himself full with six opulences bhagwan he is the absolute truth and no other truth is greater than or equal to him so this is the meaning of this verse so that same tatva vadanti tatva the absolute truth is chaitanya mahaprabhu whereas in the bhagavatam it is mentioned as krishna that krishna is 
न चैतन्य कृष्ण जगति नॉट चैतन्यात न नॉट चैतन्यात दैन लॉर्ड कृष्ण कृष्णात दैन लॉर्ड कृष्ण जगति इन द वर्ल्ड परा हायर तत्व ट्रूथ परम अनादर इह so there is no the same krishna who is chaitanya mahaprabhu there is nothing more than him so this is the position of chaitanya mahaprabhu so the fourth verse is a very interesting tune also this is the external reason of um chaitanya mahaprabhu's appearance so please repeat अनर्पित चरिम चिरात करुणया वतीर्ण कलो अनर्पित चरिम चिरात करुणया वतीर्ण कलो समर्पय तुमुन्नतोज्वल रसम स्वभक्ति श्रिय समर्पय तुमुन्नतोज्वल रसम स्वभक्ति श्रिय हरि पुरट सुंदर द्युति कदम बसंदी पिता हरि पुरट सुंदर द्युति कदम बसंदी पिता सदा हृदय कंदरे स्फुरत वह शची नंदन सदा हृदय कंदरे स्फुरत वह शची नंदन अनर्पित अनर्पित चरीम चिरात करुणया तो अनर्पित मीन्स नॉट बेस्ट आउट चरीम हैविंग बीन फॉर्मली चिरात फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम करुणया बाय कॉजलेस मर्सी अवतीर्ण डिसेंडेड कलाउ इन दिस एज ऑफ कली समर्पय तुम मीन्स टू बेस्ट आउट उन्नत उज्ज्वल रसाम द एलिवेटेड कॉन्जुगल मेलो द हाइएस्ट स्वभक्ति श्रियम द ट्रेजर ऑफ हिज ओन सर्विस हरि पुरट सुंदर पुरट मीन्स दैन गोल्ड सुंदर मोर ब्यूटिफुल द्युति पुरट सुंदर द्युति मोर ब्यूटिफुल दैन गोल्ड द कॉम्प्लेक्शन और द स्प्लेंडर कदम्ब विद मल्टिट्यूड संदीपित लाइटेड अप सदा हृदय कंदरे स्फुरत लेट हिम बी मैनिफेस्ट ऑलवेज इन द इन द कोर ऑफ योर हार्ट वह सची नंदन वह मीन्स योर सची नंदन द सन ऑफ मदर सची सो मे द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड हु इज नोन एज द सन ऑफ श्रीमती सची देवी बी ट्रांसली सिचुएटेड इन द इनर मोस्ट चेम्बर्स ऑफ योर हार्ट रेस्प्लेंडेंट विद रेडियंस ऑफ मोल्टन गोल्ड ही हैज अपियर इन द एज ऑफ कली बाय हिज कॉजलेस मर्सी टू बेस्ट आउ वॉट नो इनकानेशन हैज एवर ऑफर बिफोर the most sublime and radiant mellow of devotional service the mellow of conjugal love <clears throat> so if you see actually bhaktivinod thakur gave a very uh, nice description that um if you see other sampradaya the the sri sampradaya uh, they proclaim uh, they, they preach about dasaras and if you see the i think it's rudra sampradaya the pushti marga sampradaya gujarat they preach vatsalaras that's why there is bal gopal very common in north india bal gopal or laddu gopal you know them <clears throat> so this is vatsalaras our 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 sampradaya is madhuryaras so um bhaktivinod thakur observed and said that this madhurya ras has not gone beyond the borders of india bharat but all the other rasas have gone he said and he said moses was the one who uh manifested dasaras and um sakhya sakhya vatsalya hmm sakhya mohammad 
apparently. Sakharas. Of course, I mean, what he preached is not that, but apparently he was in that ras. This is what Bhaktivana Thakur said. And Jesus embodied Vatsalya ras. But Madhurya ras has not gone beyond the borders of Bharat. And soon there will be a personality. In this way, he predicted. Soon there will be a pr- great personality who will travel without restriction. Mind you, at that time, aeroplanes weren't there. At that time, he said, soon there will be a personality who would travel unrestricted in this world and reach Madhurya Ras, Radha Krishna Lord. Even Madhurya, there are, you know, Swakiya Madhurya and No, no. Then Unnata Rajo, Unnata Ujjwala Rason. What is that? How we understand this thing then? Parakiya Madhurya Ras. Swakiya Parakiya. Conjugal love. Means what? What is that love? Conjugal means, mm-hmm. ah, so here comes the difference. Husband and wife is Swakiya. Um, loving the Supreme Lord as one's beloved, conjugal beloved. Hanuman also loves the Lord, but as friend. Yeah, Dasaras. So, Madhurya Ras is serving the Lord as a lover. So that is done in two, two divisions. Swakya is the husband and wife. Parakya means paramour relationship. What is paramour? What is paramour? Hmm? You don't know the word for it. Yeah. Extramarital. <coughs> so that kind of, there is a, um, this verse. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sent a cryptic verse to Rupa and Sanatana. When they were in the government service. Even if anybody found out this verse, it was encrypted. Nobody would understand. Paravyasa nina ari vyagrapi grihakarma so tade vaswada yatkantar navasangarasayanam madhya 1.211. If a woman is attached to a man other than her husband, she will appear very busy in carrying out her household affairs. But within her heart, <coughs> she is always relishing feelings of association with her paramour. So, one would think, why would Chaitanya Mahaprabhu even send this verse to Rupa and Sanadhan? Like, why? Something wrong with him or what? Pervert. So, people may think anything. So, actually, this, this is very prominent, very visible, visibly cryptic. In the context, it was cryptic. Now we understand the meaning of this and how conjugal love, but actually this also applies to how one should do one's material duties. Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami were there in government service. So he sent them this. Why did he send them this? So this is to show how we should perform our duties in this world. We should do our duties in this world, materially speaking, as a a, a chaste wife, as if very attentive. But we should always be thinking of Krishna while in, while being engaged in this world. So <clears throat> that is what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was conveying through this verse. Of course, it also applies to conjugal love, which is, I mean, how the gopis loved Krishna. <clears throat> I mean, literally they, they did this with Krishna. But in the context of how we 
um, live our life in this material world and being Krishna conscious, this is how we should do it. And especially this is for the householders. <clears throat> and even not just for householders, because even if one is brahmachari or sannyasi, he still has to maintain this body. So that is still material activity, satisfying of the satisfaction of the senses to the point it is necessary. That is still, you know, uh, taking care of the bodily needs. But it's minimized, but it's still there. As long as we're in the material world, we cannot escape that. But it has to be minimized. And even while doing that, we have to remember Krishna and the rest of the time, as much as possible, the time should be used in Krishna's service. Uh, so, this is that verse. So, in uh, Parakya Madhurya Ras, this is the um, feeling. So, this is what, and even in this, there is, even in this, there is uh, degrees. Even in Parakya. There is, um, what is it called? Viraha and Sambhoga. Sambhoga and Viraha. This is explained in the, discussed in the Ramananda Samvad. The discussion with Ramananda Rai. So when he says go higher and higher and higher, he says gopi's love. He says even go higher. <laughs> so, so it is in the gopi's love, but the Viraha. Um, Sangha and Viraha, Sangama and Viraha. So Radharani says like this Sangama Viraha Vikalpe, Varamiha Viraho, Nasangamantasya, Eka Sa Eva Sange, Tribhuvanam Apitan Mayam Virahe. This is from Padyavali of Rupa Goswami, 240th verse. Separation from Krishna is better than meeting him. Radharani is saying. What is she saying? Separation from Krishna is better than meeting him. When I meet him, there is only one Krishna. But when I am separated from him, the three worlds become filled with Krishnas. So I want to see more Krishnas. I want to see Krishna everywhere. So this is even higher. Vipralambha Seva. So this is actually the Unnata Ujjwala Rasam. The service and separation. So even in um, <clears throat> even uh, Parakya Madhuri Ras, this Viraha is the highest. And this Viraha is practiced even in other Rasas, like the cowherd boys also, even uh, Yashoda Maya, when Krishna became a little bit late in coming back, she was anxious, missing a little bit anxious, like the Trinavartha came or Putana came or whatever, she was anxious. So this viraha is there everywhere, but it is exhibited in the highest to the highest degree in the Parakya Mathuri Ras. So this is that. So Anarpita Charim Chirat Karunaya Vatirna Kalau. So Krishna came and especially for the people in general, he came to give the Harinam Sankirtan Yajna and what is the verse in Bhagavatam? Not the Pandits. What is the verse in the Bhagavatam about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Wait, wait, wait. You know? What? With a smirk. How dare you? <laughs> with a smirk. How can you shake your head with a smirk? Huh? Yeah, so you know. So you know the verse, right? What is the verse? Full verse. Eleven five thirty-two. So you know the verse. Okay, not so bad. You should also know the index. So eleven five thirty-two. Krishna Varanam Visha Krishnam Sangopangastra Parshadam Yajnaihi Sankirtana Prayer Yajanti Sumedha Saha. In the age of Kali, intelligent persons perform congregational chanting to worship the incarnation of Godhead who sings, who constantly sings the names of Krishna. Although his complexion is not blackish, he is Krishna himself. 
He is accompanied by his associates, servants, weapons and confidential companions. Now, when he says Krishna Varnam, there are two meanings. Krishna Varnam, Varna means, as you know, Varnashram. Varna means category. He is in the category of Krishna. He is not Jiva Tattva, he is Vishnu Tattva. So, that is the meaning of Krishna Varnam. And another meaning is Varnayati. Varnayati means to describe or to glorify. Krishna Varnam means one who glorifies Krishna. So, both are applicable, pun intended. Krishna Varnam. He is of the category of Krishna, but he glorifies Krishna as his devotee. Krishna Varnam Tvisha Akrishnam. It's not. Krishna also means black or dark. You know, the waxing and the waning moons, they are called Shukla Paksha or, and Krishna Paksha. In our Gaudiya Vaishnava, we say Gaura Paksha and Krishna Paksha because we are Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's followers. So, <clears throat> um, Krishna Varnam Trisha Akrishnam. So, there, <laughs> there is a connotation, racial connotation of this. Akrishna. So, Krishna also means Shudras. Shukla means the Brahmanas. So, Shukla means white. Krishna means black. So, oh, this is racial. Oh, you are dividing. So, they make it, they, they make the caste system into racism and all muddle up everything. But actually, um, it's not just the skin color. You know, it is the purity. Because one is in Sattvagun, it is Shukla. Because one is in Tamogun, it is Krishna. So in that way, um, you know, let me actually see if I can find out that one. Mm. Yes. 822.13. Okay, let's see. Tamindras. Tamindra Sena Swapitamaham Shriya Virajamanam Nalinaya Tekshanam Pramsum Pishangam Baramanjana Tvisham Pralambabahum Subhagarishabham Aikshatam. You know this word? Tvisha Akrishnam Gaurat Tvishe Anjana Tvisham. You know who is this Anjana Tvisham? Pralad Maharaj. You see? Yeah. You see what the Anjana Tvisham is? With his body resembling black ointment for the eyes. Pitch black. Huh? 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 Prema Anjana. Anjana Tvisham. This, is, this was the color of Prahlad Maharaj. Black. But Prabhupada, he asked to paint, the, he asked the devotees to paint him um, fair complexion. Show that his devotee, Shukla. See, then Bali Maharaj saw his grandfather, Prahlad Maharaj, the most fortunate personalities, whose dark body resembled black ointment for the eyes. His tall, elegant figure was dressed in yellow garments. He had long arms and his beautiful eyes were like the petals of a lotus. He was very dear and pleasing to everyone. So, so anyway, coming back. We have Namo Maha Vajanyaya 1953. Namo Maha Vadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Vishena Maha. So, <clears throat> this is, I think, we only know for offering food. Right? Do you know the meaning or not? O oh, most munificent incarnation, you are Krishna himself appearing as Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You have assumed the golden color of Srimati Ratharani and you are widely distributing pure love of Krishna. We offer our respectful obeisances unto you. What was the verse you showed yesterday? Where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not distinguish between the... Yes. 
Yeah, Patra Patra is 820 Adi. That is the devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Another verse you showed yesterday. My notebook is not here. Huh? No, no. That one is, uh... one? Is it seven? Oh, you're right. 820. Okay. Yours was 820. This is 8, 723. So you see, let's go to maybe 820 first. Heno Prema Sri Chaitanya Dila Jata Tatha Jagai Madhai Paryanta Anir Kakatha. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has freely given this load, uh, love of Krishna everywhere and anywhere, even to the most fallen, such as Jagai and Madhai. What then to speak of those who are already pious and elevated? But the irony is that um, the so-called pious and elevated Brahmanas, they are sometimes unable to take to it. They are stuck in their smartha consciousness. This is so everywhere and anywhere, jatha tatha, paryanta, mm. dila, where is that? Eno prema sri chaitanya dila, dila jatha tatha, mm. has given everywhere and anywhere. So now, 723, devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also. Patra patra vichara nahi nahi sthana sthan jai jaha pae taha kare prem dhan. Hmm. Patra apatra. Let's see the word to word. You see. Patra means recipient. Apatra means not a recipient. Vichara nahi. There is no consideration. Nahi sthana sthan. There is no consideration of favorable place or unfavorable place. Jai jaha pae. Anyone, wherever get, uh, they get the opportunity, taha, kore prem dan. <clears throat> In distributing love of Godhead, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates did not consider who was a fit candidate and who was not. Nor where such distribution should or should not take place. They made no conditions. <clears throat> so this, wherever they got the opportunity, the members of the Panchatattva distributed love of Godhead. So this is a, so um, this is the external reason. Now, oh yeah, how can we forget that was? Hmm. Ten nineteen. This is composed by Rupa Goswami. So all the devotees they have glorified him for composing this verse. Helo dhuni takhe daya vishadaya pron mila damodaya shamya chastra vivadaya rasadaya chittar piton madaya shashvad bhakti vinodaya samadaya madhuriya mariadaya shri chaitanya daya nidhe tavadaya O ocean of mercy, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, let there be an awakening of your auspicious mercy, which easily drives away all kinds of material lamentation by making everything pure and blissful. Indeed, your mercy awakens transcendental bliss and covers all material pleasures. By your auspicious mercy, quarrels and disagreements arising among different scriptures are vanquished. Your auspicious mercy pours forth transcendental mellows and thus causes the heart to jubilate. Your mercy, which is full of joy, always stimulates devotional service and glorifies conjugal love of God. May transcendental bliss be awakened within my heart by your causeless mercy. You know, this auspicious mercy. Auspicious mercy. Yeah. Amando daya daya. 
and bhakti siddhan saraswati thakur uh, described in great at great length amando daya daya amanda udaya manda means dull inauspicious so amanda means auspicious udaya means the rising of so amanda udaya daya the daya which gives auspicious is there an auspicious mercy yes and that is the description and bhakti siddhan saraswati thakur gave because many people in this world want to be charitable want to help others daya you know there is two words seva and daya sometimes we just use them interchangeably but actually there is a difference between seva and daya seva is done to a superior daya is done to an inferior you know so um daya to show compassion people do uh, say they, they construct schools but that will end up in atheistic education so it is daya but amanda uh, not amando daya daya mando daya daya it is it gives rise to inauspiciousness because it gives rise to atheism or sometimes you know there is one organization in singapore they give free food that man started from here we used to do in norris road yeah so we we used to do in norris road those days two decades ago and he used to come there to eat and he liked the idea and then he eventually started now he's a big name in the charitable charity field charity domain so he just gives thousands and thousands of meals every day all meat this is mando daya daya not only they are going to hell he is going to hell also so prabhu told him many times don't do like this you know he liked the idea but he did what what with that so this is amando daya daya that is mando daya daya so in this way all everything falls short some are explicitly mando they are very sinful some are some may not look so sinful they look harmless Uh, on the top but as long as it is not krishna consciousness it is more or less mando daya it cannot be amando daya so the only auspicious activity is sankirtan yagya hmm. i think the last verse is not ha Exactly, was the the A very great length he makes. He told that everything, Bhagavan, everything, yes. Even in the mode of goodness, if it is, it is still mando daya daya. Lesser mando than ignorance daya, tamasik daya, satvik daya is a little bit lesser mando, but still mando. Only Krishna consciousness is amando daya daya. नाम संकीर्तन यप प्रनाशन प्रणामो दुख शमन स्तम नमा हरि परम आई ऑफ मै रेस्पेक्टल सुप्रीम लॉर्ड हरि द कांग्रेगेशन चैंटिंग ऑफ हूज होली नेम्स डिस्ट्रॉय ऑल सिंफुल रियाक्शन एंड ऑफरिंग ऑफ ओबेस होम रिलीव ऑल मेटीरियल सफरिंग सो ऑल मेटीरियल सफरिंग सो दिस इज रिलीव ऑल मेटीरियल सफरिंग दिस इज एक्चुअली अमन दो दया दया कंप्लीट सो बट यू सी अपार्ट फ्रॉम द मीनिंग विच इज सो डी how nice alliteration the word daya is like repeated eight times and then he daya so although it is not daya but you know those words also end with daya so it is just beautiful so this is the external reason the internal reason we are not qualified really to speak about that but just because it is there we have to mention we have to know also at least <clears throat> so this is a uh, fifth and sixth both of them are this actually fifth is uh, the combination that radha and krishna sixth is the feeling uh, the actual <clears throat> so you can maybe repeat radha krishna pranaya vikrutir hladini shakti rasmat <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
चैतन्याख्यम प्रकटमधुना तद्वयम चैक्यम राधा भाव द्युति सुबलित नौमी कृष्ण स्वरूप सो राधा कृष्ण प्रणय विकृति ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ राधा कृष्ण लव हलादनी शक्ति रस्मा द प्लेजर पोटेंसी इट्स इश्यूड फ्रॉम द प्लेजर पोटेंसी ऑफ द लॉर्ड ekatmana both the same in identity radha and krishna are one api although they are one bhuvi pura um, deha bhedam gatao so deha bhedam gatao tao means formally they came as two different personalities radha and krishna chaitanya akhyam akhyam means known as name uh, now holding the name of chaitanya mahaprabhu prakatam adhuna adhuna means now manifest tat dvayam chaikyam chaikyam means aikyam means ekam so unity they have combined now radha bhava dyuti subalitam so he has combined now they are both combined and external the complexion is uh, radharan is radha bhava and dyuti dyuti means the complexion bhava means the mood <coughs> subalitam adorn very nicely adorn Uh, naomi krishna swarupam this is krishna himself but so this is how is constructed the loving affairs of shri radha and krishna are transcendental manifestations of the lord's internal pleasure giving potency although radha and krishna are one in their identity previously they separated themselves now these two transcendental identities have again united in the form of shri krishna chaitanya i bow down to him who has manifested himself with the sentiment and complexion of shrimati radharani although he is krishna himself <clears throat> this is the identity of chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, in the third verse the identity is that he is the same brahman paramatma bhagwan who is krishna himself here the identity is he is radha krishna himself and the form which he revealed to ramanandar ay is this uh, this verse is the description of it huh? because it is he showed himself as radha krishna no so this is the next one jay shri shri radha madan mohan ki jay so please repeat again we'll do each line uh, in two parts so. shri radha ya pranay mahima ईदृशो वानयनाभुतमधुरीमाख्यम चादनुवता कीदृशं वेति लोभा तद्भावाढ्य समजनिषि गर्भ सिंधो हरिंदु श्री राधाया प्रणय महिमा सो प्रणय महिमा द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ द लव ऑफ श्री राधा सो देर आर थ्री थिंग्स हियर so the first three lines are the three reasons so first is shri radha ya pranaya mahima um adbhuta madhurima ya yeah, adbhuta madhurima uh, swadyo yena adbhuta madhurima second one and saukhyam chasya madanubhavatah and kidrisham vet lobha the greed for you know so let's see the three things the greatness of the love of shrimati radharani what is the nature of that how great um, 
is the love of Radharani. Because, and the, the whole description of these two verses is extends to 300 verses almost. 400? Yeah, fourth chapter. Yeah, fourth chapter, correct. So the, it's 275 or something verses around there. So <clears throat> that that deep he goes into this. So Pranaya Mahima, the greatness of the love, the nature. What is the nature? He wanted to understand. Krishna is Madan Mohan. In this world, everybody is um, trapped because of the Madan, Cupid, sex attraction. But um, Madan Mohan means one who can, if once you get attracted to him, you will lose attraction for sex life. Because he attracts even Cupid, who is attracting the whole world. And Radharani is Madan Mohan Mohini. Um, so she attracts even the Madan Mohan. He is running after her. If she is angry, he falls down at his feet. What is going on? So, what is the greatness of that love? That Krishna is the supreme. Even um, Shiva Virinchinutam, Lord Shiva and Brahma, they bow down at his feet. And millions of Brahmas, trillions of Brahmas bow down at his feet. And he is uh, like the henpeck lover of Radha, I mean, Radharan. What is this Radharani? Who is this Radharani? The greatness of her love. To find out, to investigate. Anaya by this one, Radha. Aswadhyaha, to be relished, yena adbhuta madhurima. So the wonderful sweetness of that love that she is experiencing and saukhyam, the happiness that she realizes, that she experiences uh, from, the, from Krishna. What is the Krishna's nature? What is the sweetness of Krishna's character? Which only Radharani knows. Even Krishna does not know himself as well as Radharani does. So, Kidrisham Veti Lobhat, from the desire, uh, Tad Bhavadhya, richly endowed with emotion, Samajani Sachi, Garbha, Sindhao Harindu. So, only Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Srimati Radharani can um, exhibit the Mahabhava. In, in Viraha also, in separation, there are degrees. You know, we have just Establish a point that Viraha, Vipralamba Seva is the highest. But even in Vipralamba Seva, there are stages. And the highest is Mahabhava. And that is only possible for Radharani and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, no one else. Exclusive property. Yes. <clears throat> so, desiring to understand the glory of Radharani's love. Number one. Number two, the wonderful qualities in him, in Krishna, that she alone relishes through her love. Not even Krishna relishes those qualities in himself. They can only be relished by Radharan. Okay? And the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love. To, to know these three things, the Supreme Lord Hari richly endowed with her emotions, appeared from the womb of Srimati Sachi Devi as the moon appeared from the ocean. You know, from the Kshir Sagar, the moon came out. <clears throat> so, um, we are not very qualified to further discuss on this topic. <laughs> Far away. So, these are the reasons for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance. Uh, if, if you want to know, read more, then you can read uh, the first four chapters of Chaitanya Charitamrita. I will give full description. With, uh, uh, even the purports are very deep. Very, very deep. So, you can read more. Any questions or comments on this topic? Hmm? So it is not as no, it is not as elevated as when it as you know just now at the verse I showed because there is nothing more intense than separation. Radharani says, I see Krishna everywhere when I'm separated from him, which is what I want, she says. <laughs> I want to be separated from Krishna. 
how uh, how uh, you love someone and then and that love you want to actually be separated from that person but this is only possible with krishna because remembrance of krishna is krishna himself the absolute nature of krishna makes this possible that the separation is more intense or more more association than association it's only possible with krishna when we separate with others it's a proverb i mean what is that no not out of sight out of mind ha oh. huh, yeah separation makes the heart grows fonder fonder so it, you will just feel more separation but you cannot actually you don't have the same thing uh, same experience as associating with that person you know as people usually when somebody passes away they say oh um, he is always uh, with us in in our thoughts you know they say like that but he is not here he is there somewhere in another body gone uh, so for consoling ourselves we may say these things but in case of krishna it appears exactly similar radharani yashoda they were you know crying and became like dead some of them died even from the separation so it appears like that but it is actually association they are associating more than the, that's why you see um, you know madhavendra puri this verse he composed madhavendra puri started this uh, madhurya ras in our uh, madhva sampradaya and this is the verse which opens this whole thing ai ai dina dayardra nath he mathura nath kadavalokyase hridayam padaloka kataram daita bhramya tikim karomya ham O oh my lord o oh most merciful master o oh master of mathura when shall i see you again because of my not seeing you my agitated heart has become unsteady o oh most beloved what shall i do now so mathura nath <laughs> she called him mathura nath in the mood of radharani he he composed this i mean in mood of gopis like that oh you used to be you know um, what is that radha madhav kunj bihari um what is a girivar dhari um vrajjana ranjana you used to be this but now you are mathura nath you are now the lord of mathura and you have a whole new set of girlfriends and you know everybody there all the city most more sophisticated girls you have left us so well if you ask how far is of mathura from vrindavan why why they have to compose is go there na but they did not because they want to have krishna only in this setting they did not want krishna even in the setting of opulence only in this simple forest setting village setting they wanted him and <clears throat> also by meditating on him like that they were more with krishna than when krishna was there with them you know so what is that vrindavanam parityajya padamekam na gachhati actually it's, it's differently constructed prabhupad says used to say like this um gachhasi what is that exact so the meaning is krishna never actually steps even one step out of vrindavan so <clears throat> they could have always gone but they it this mathuranath usually mathuranath means oh mathuranath here they are basically kind of chiding at him chiding him yeah they are they're not happy with this mathuranath word but they are saying because they are separate this mathuranath you have become now you are no more our you have become theirs and it also manifested like you know when you see bhramara geeta of radharani when she used to talk to that bumblebee when uddhava came talking like a mad woman and there also she was very angry seemingly with krishna oh now that he has all those city girls he doesn't need us anymore so <laughs> in that way it appears it 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 seems to manifest the um, familiar feminine rivalry of this world but it's again different the feminine rivalry here is a reflection perverted reflection of the original in the spiritual world so um 
something else. There was one more thing I was wanting to say. What was the question just now? Uh, Mahabhav is possible in the separation because they are with Krishna. Yeah. Something else with Krishna, I think I lost the train of thought. Anyway, Gaurapurnima Maha Mahot Savaki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki Jai. <coughs> Shri Prabhupada ki jai nitai gaur kemani.